Hello, I'm back up at the caravan. Uh, today I'm going to be taking the caravan off the axle stand. So I thought I'd do a short video clip on the process that I do in order to get it back down on the floor. First job I'm going to do is I'm going to wind the front legs up and I'm going to do that with this nice drill attachment that I've got here. I bought it from a caravan shop. It was uh, about £7. It just makes it look a bit easier when you're winding the legs up. Um, I don't have it on too high, I only have it on number one on the drill because I don't want to wind them up too quickly and damage anything. Next job is to back the car underneath the hitch. So as I mentioned in a previous video, it's really important that you do hitch the car up to the caravan when you're jacking it up, otherwise the vehicle might tip up. You don't want it to fall on its backside. Okay, so I'm underneath the caravan now, and this here is the, the piece of metal on just on the side here that I'm going to actually jack it up on. It's quite safe to do that, but I wouldn't do it on the actual chassis, which is a bit further back. This is a steel plate, and it's quite... You know easy to jack it up on that so that's okay to jack it up so i'm just going to take the jack up i've got a two ton uh bottle jack here uh i keep in the caravan that's uh more than ample to lift this the total weight of the van is 1300 kilograms all up so it's uh, no problem to lift it with this What I'm actually going to do as well is just rotate the wheels. You can just hear inside there. It's probably a, it's probably a bit of um, you know as as it be stood. I have been turning them, but there's probably just a bit of rust in there. So hopefully that'll clear off when we get the vehicle moving. I'm just going to release the axle stand, move it out the way. Just nearly drop you then. And then with this jack here, just at the bottom, you just turn this, just gonna watch my head, and then slowly let it back down onto its wheel. So that's one side done. You wanna do the other side now? So that's the caravan safely down on its wheels. I didn't film the second uh, second wheel taking that down because there was a car waiting to come past with the caravan. So I had to be pretty quick and get that off uh, off the axle stand. Then it can get in. Um, what I normally do with the axle stands, I keep one of them in the in the caravan. I don't take them both with me because uh, hopefully I'm not going to get two punches at the same time. But I do take one axle stand with me and just put that in the front locker. So it's back down safe on its tyres. Um, you can do what I may look at doing next year. Is obviously I'll, I'll, every year I put it up on the axle stands. But next year I might look at getting some cheap tyres to put on the the vehicle. And if I do need to move it over winter. I can do and keep my roll tyres in in the shed, which somebody suggested. You can put winter wheels on the vehicle there, like these, these steel frames that you put on. Uh, they go over the where the wheel nuts are, uh, and you can take your wheels off. But the only problem with those is if you um, look at your insurance, some insurances might actually have a problem with that because if there's any issues with the vehicle, say like there's a fire or anything like that, and they find out that it hasn't got its actual road wheels on the vehicle, it can, in some cases, void your insurance. So that's uh, me ready. I'm going to get the caravan back home next week and give it a good clean out before our next trip, which is just at the end of this week. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.